Good morning. This message is for everyone who voted Liberal in the last federal election. And for the sake of transparency, I will be candid with you and tell you I did not vote Liberal in the last federal election. And the reason that I did not do so is because I did not have confidence in the leadership of Justin Trudeau. Now, I had people who disagreed with me, who felt he was a good leader, and I always said that time bears that out. Time is the ultimate judger of how successful or how well someone performs. So let's take a look at our recent events. Mr. Trudeau had an opportunity when he first heard rumblings of the truckers uh, convoy coming to defuse the situation. He could have reached out and said, hey, let's sit down. Instead, he chose to uh, malign them and call them a French movement. After this movement took some hold, we went to the next step and then his choice was to basically ignore them and pretend they didn't exist. Finally, when things got to a head, it was then to basically look at crushing them as opposed to still having dialogue. True leadership is seeking solutions. Leadership isn't about displaying your might through power. It's displaying your leadership through uh, reaching across the aisle, finding solutions and f addressing those concerns that your citizens have. Because ultimately, whether Mr. Trudeau knows it or not or realizes it or not, he is there to serve all Canadians as all MPs are there to serve all Canadians, not just the interest group that voted for him. If you look at the overall voter turnout in the last election, and you look at the actual number of people who voted for the Liberals, we don't have a majority consensus of people who voted for them. No, we have, it's a one in four essentially. So one in four Canadians supported this. Now there's three quarters of Canadians who feel otherwise. Of course, there's a whole bunch of Canadians who didn't even cast a vote, but for them, I'll have a separate greeting. But for all of you who voted liberal, you've got to ask yourself and say, is this the party and leadership that I voted for? Could we not have addressed this in a better fashion? Now, obviously we know this is all stemming from COVID and the response to COVID and people are very divided on it. But let me ask you a question. All folks were asking for along the way was, look, show me the evidence that you're basing all your decisions on. Allow a debate, an open debate to occur. So when the government, when Mr. Trudeau or anybody in the Liberal government stated a simple fact and said, well, the science is settled. Well, all the citizens were asking for us, show us that science. And then now let's have people on both sides of it debate that in an open manner that's transparent so the electorate doesn't have mistrust in their leadership. That was an easy solution. And that's how democracy survive. Anarchies are the opposite. And tyrannies operate in the sense of saying, well, it is the way it is, and that's what it is, and I've said it. Now, I can't imagine that every single person who voted liberal is in favor of enacting Emergency Measures Act especially looking at what's happening in Ottawa. There is no dire emergency. The people are being very civil if you actually take the time to look into stuff and find out what's going on. Are there a few bad apples? Sure, there's a few bad apples everywhere. But that does not mean that we use the draconian power of government's overreach on these people to crush dissent for people simply merely asking a question and saying, hey, this doesn't make any sense. True leadership would have addressed this a long time ago. So we've got a seven days where this is going to be debated and voted on. I would encourage you, if you voted liberal, please reach out to your MP and say this is wrong. We are a party that believes in freedom and democracy. And if we are, uh, feel we're on the right side of history, why are we afraid of a debate on what we've done thus far? If the science truly supports us, then what are we afraid of? That is the position we must take. We must put party second and country first. I need you to put Canada ahead of your own political party's interests. I need you to at least consider um, realizing that your fellow citizens that you are living amongst also have a voice and their voice needs to be heard. And your party, the Liberal Party, represents all Canadians. And that hasn't been happening. So. My final ask of you, of course, is reach out to your MP. We only need, we need, a, it would be great if all of you, all of your MPs voted that way. We know that's not going to happen. 
But if the Bloc and the Conservatives were to join, there's only 19 more people that need to move. And that could be a combination of uh, Liberal and NDP MPs. We do not solve our problems with the heavy hand of government. That isn't it, the way it's done. We solve them by in dis engaging in discussion and debate. And that's how a democracy is preserved. We never say that the, bully, the bully's way is the right way. And if you ask yourself honestly, is Justin Trudeau being a bully at this time? Is he engaging in a statesmanlike manner? Is he being the leader that this country deserves to have? Is he being the leader that you voted for? If it is, fair enough. But if you are having any misgivings, please reach out to your MPs and ask them to vote against these measures being enacted.